Hello folks, greetings from still chilly Canada. Charles Sim here with a little Laurent tips for you. Um, I want to do a little video talking about configuring the customizable buttons on your trolling motor. But when I looked into doing that myself uh, last week after I had upgraded to version 20, which I hope you've all done, um, I discovered that I didn't know everything about my system and I learned something and I want to share it with you. Because I really believe the more you know about your sonar systems and your graphs and your GPS, the better you're going to be on the water, the more opportunity you're going to have. So, uh, when I went to update my trolling motor unit, I did not see it. I could not find the controls. And uh, after a little investigation, I learned more about the NEMA network that, uh, that all the devices are connected with, specifically how it's powered. So let's take a quick look here. All right, so here's my unit, and uh, we're left here. We can see I can actually pull up the trolling motor. So no autopilot configured. Also, the engine, no autopilot configured. Uh, I know the trolling motor is on. Um, so if we go over into uh, settings to configure my button, we go settings, we go autopilot. This is where you're supposed to see how to configure uh, the buttons on your trolling motor pedal. Obviously, it's not there. So after researching a little bit, I discovered that all these units speak to each other through the NEMA network. So when I hooked up this system, uh, I hooked it up to my existing engine NEMA, NEMA network, which makes sense, and it's how most uh, systems are set up. Um, what I wasn't aware of, what I didn't realize, is that NEMA network is only powered... I'll go down here... I mean, my Ranger boat is only actually has power when that power is on. So that's the equivalent of turning your key on in the boat. If you have a boat that doesn't have a digital system like this, let's just stop that. Um, it's all about turning your key on to power that NEMA network. So let's take a look at what happens here. Again, I'll go into my settings. And you know, in this time when we're all kind of locked up in the house, hiding from the coronavirus, it doesn't hurt to take some time and kind of bounce around in your in your sonar unit and learn about it. So we're going to go into settings. I'm going to go into uh, network. And this just to demonstrate, uh, let's look at the device list. So right now I'm listing just this device. Uh, it's not seeing all the other devices. Um, uh, it will see the waypoints because the waypoints, I believe, are shared through the uh, the Ethernet network. But the kind of connection, there's there's a lot of network activity that goes through the NEMA. So as soon as I go in here, power my NEMA network, all of a sudden, look at all these devices coming up. There's my main motor. There's my ghost trolling motor. It's all there because... That's my low engine alarm. It's all there because the NEMA network now has power. So all that to say, if you are not seeing, when you open up your trolling motor, if you are not seeing the trolling motor controls, um, it's possible that your NEMA network, or if you go into your device list uh, in network, device list and you're not seeing everything that should be on your network um, my all my 12 units I got four 12s there's my point one uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, these are my four units that I've I've labeled console left console right bow top bow bottom ghost trolling motor so everything's there if you are not seeing that and you believe your NEMA network is set up correctly it's probably be because your NEMA network is not powered. Uh, so let's look again here. There's my trolling motor stuff. You can control your trolling motor from your unit. Also, I've got all my engine information there because the engine's powered. So let's look at uh, configuring these buttons. So if you go into settings, boom. You go into autopilot, boom. There it is right there. Uh, configure trolling motor keys. We're going to pull that up and the screen's actually going to be, how's our light here? The screen's going to be very similar to uh, 
the screen you use to set your your quick quick access buttons. So let's take a look here. Uh, these are your three customizable buttons. One, two, three. Obviously, constant on is the default for number one. If you want to change it, you simply hit that button and you can select, whoops, you can select a bunch of different things. You can do anchor here. You can do course lock, constant on, power pull up and down. If you are connected to your power poles, I'm going to leave that at constant on. Um, I had switched my number three button uh, to a waypoint. So with that set on number three, all I have to do is touch that number three button and now I, I save a waypoint on that spot. Uh, let's look at the uh, the middle button. I have nothing on that right now. And you know what? I'm going to leave that one uh, empty for now. But that's all it is. It's a simple little thing. You hit save. You got to remember to hit save. And everything will be configured. So there's a quick little tip on configuring your NEMA network. Or sorry, configuring your the buttons on your Ghost trolling motor, configuring your NEMA network, making sure it's got power, and uh, spend some time looking at your Lorentz unit. You're going to learn a lot. Also, one more thing. If you haven't subscribed yet, let's reach down. Reach down. Give a subscribe button. Give a like. Check back the channel often because uh, we've got some more videos coming to you. Take care. Good luck on the water.